Hi everybody. In this video, I'd like to share with you one of my favorite techniques for using Desmos Activity Builder as a formative assessment, and it's called Match My Function. And in this, students are given a graph or a piece of a graph or a series of points, and they need to come up with the equation or the function which matches what they see on the screen. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it two ways. Once just using a, a graph screen, and the other making use of Desmos computation layer. And you can choose the one you like. Um, so I'm already here at teacher.desmos.com, and I've started a new um, activity builder. And here's my first screen. The instructions to the student will be uh, provide uh, an equation which matches the graph. And since we're going to use a graph, I want to make a graph element here. And let's do a quadratic this time. I'm going to make y equals x plus 2 times x minus 3. Okay. Um, and for students, I like to make it uh, the equation dotted. So I'm going to use the edit list gear here. And by clicking on the color, I can make it dotted. And right now, if I preview this, here's what it looks like. Provide an equation which matches the graph. This is very easy for students because they can just see the equation right here. Well, we're going to take care of that. Uh, if I do the plus sign here and add an item, we can add a folder. And I'm going to take this equation and drag it into the folder. There's a little bit of a learning curve here, but you drag the little side piece here where the color is located. And if you see the vertical line showing up, that means that that element is in the folder. So I'll put it in there. And there's this nifty little button here that hides this folder from students. So I'm going to do that. And now if we preview it, provide an equation which matches the graph, now students have something they can uh, attempt here. So I can, as a student, could try y equals, maybe it's x plus 1 times x minus 3. I can see, oh, I got a piece of it here, so maybe I'm going to toy around and eventually figure out that this needs to be, uh, what does it need to be? x plus now I know it's perfect, and I know I have it right because the equation goes over top of the dotted um, function. Some other things I like to do with this as well, sometimes I'd like to give students just a piece of the function, just a little taste, and see if they can figure out what's going on. So perhaps I'm just going to give them the lower part by the vertex of this quadratic. Uh, so at the end of my function here, I'm going to restrict the domain by using uh, brackets. And I can tell students, well, maybe I'll just restrict it to between uh, negative 1 and what's fair here, maybe 2. Oh, that seems a little evil. Let's go to uh, 2.5. I don't want to quite give them the intercept. And again, if I do a preview, they see that piece, and they students can attempt to uh, match the equation. Okay, Let's do this one more time using computation layer. So I'm going to start a new screen here. Um, so I'm going to make a graph. And again, uh, I'm going to put in an equation, y equals... Uh, let's do a cubic this time. Let's do x times x plus 1 times uh, x minus 4. Sometimes I like to give it uh, like a 0.5 just to throw them off the scent a little bit and make them sweat a bit. And again, we're going to make it dotted. So let's make it dotted. All set to go. But I'm also going to give a note here. And the note will tell students the instructions of provide an equation which matches the, the graph. And I'm going to have students input their answers using an in input uh, element in here. So I'm going to click input. And notice it's text or math. I want a math input here. And I do not want students to show um, their classmates' responses. I want this to be a one-on-one -on -one activity. This is what it looks like right now. Provide an equation. But if I type something in here, like if I try this, if I think it's x times x plus 1 times maybe x plus 3, what I'm typing does not appear in a graph. And ideally, I would like the equation to communicate with the graph. And you can do that by what's called a uh, computation layer. And computation layer is Desmos's in-house uh, coding language that allows elements on the screen to talk to each other. And ideally, I would like this expression input to talk to the graph. And we can do it in a few simple commands. Um, first of all, um, where it says unlabeled expression input, we need to give that a name. I'm going to call it EQ2. It's an equation. I like 2 because it's on my second screen here. And I need EQ2, what students put in, to talk to the graph. So if you ever look at Activity Builder and you wonder what these little gears here in the gray boxes are, well, those are ways you can access computation layer in the programming language. So I'm going to click the one over by the graph here. And right now it's blank because there's nothing going on in the background. But here's where I'm going to tell the graph, hey, grab that equation from EQ2. And you can do that using something called raw expression. So the raw expression I'm going to take from EQ2 I'm going to call it something. I'm going to call it A for lack of anything else. It is a string that I'm grabbing from EQ2. Uh, colon. That's not a colon. Colon. And it's EQ2. Dot, and since it is a programming, um, it's a program, pro, yeah, programming language, um, the way that you type mathematics into here, it's called latex. Anyway, so I'm just going to put latex here. 
it's going to grab EQ2, that equation, and put it into the graph. One other small thing, I'd also like it to be blue, different color other than the red, and I can do that as well. Uh, raw expression, uh, this time color, uh, 4A, and quotes. And I want to call it blue, so we're going to use quotes and call it blue. That looks okay. And notice when I did that, uh, if I do something wrong, it lets me know over here that uh, I need to close up my, uh, I did there. So let's test this out. I think we're all set to go. So if I preview this, provide an equation, I can start typing it in. It'll be y equals x times x plus 2. And you can see already it is starting to graph it. x minus 1, x minus 1. Wow, it's really messed that up there. x minus 1. And I know I'm not quite there, but now I have um, some juggling to do to try to get it correct. So nice, quick, and easy ways for students to um, work with equations and for you to make a nice formative assessment.